So welcome back to another Best Laptop Setups video. This is episode number 35. And as I always do, a quick shout out to last week's winner, Mark. From the Philippines, you're getting a $100 gift card. Now, if you're still enjoying the series, feel free to hit the like button. And this is the first time you're watching it. Feel free to subscribe. But today we're doing something different. We're giving away a $200 gift card this time because this is probably the last Best Laptop Setups video for the entire year. But Best Buy, who was kind enough to partner on this part of the video, does have the ASUS Chromebook Plus CM3401 for sale, which might be the only device you need for your desk setup. It's a convertible Chromebook Plus that can flip the display 360 degrees so that it can also be used as a tablet. It's packed with an AMD Ryzen 3 7320C processor, 120 gigabytes of storage, and eight gigabytes of memory. It has a full HD IPS display and a 1080p webcam. I was able to easily handle editing some of my thumbnails using Adobe Photoshop on the web with multiple layers open. Also, if you love to game, all Chromebooks, including this one, comes with three months of free GeForce Now priority tier, which gives you access to tons of games at 1080p 60 frames per second. And if you have an Android device like this Pixel 8 Pro, you can use Phone Hub to quickly transfer photos, videos, and even stream your phone's app directly on the ASUS Chromebook Plus's display. The ASUS Chromebook Plus is a fast Chromebook designed to help you get stuff done fast. Make sure to click on the link in the description down below to pick one up today. Now, setup number one comes from Jason. He's majoring in psychology. And look, I do like this setup. I will be honest with you, it's a bit chaotic in terms of all the colors that are going on, especially with the very busy wallpapers that he's using. But look, he built this setup three years ago. He's using it for his lectures and he's also a social media admin. His laptop of choice is the ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16. This thing is an i7 1100H CPU and an NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti. I do like the dual monitor setup. The 24 inch ViewSonic monitor on the bottom is small enough that he has it tilted back so he doesn't have to extend his neck too much upwards when looking at the bigger Xiaomi ultra wide 34 inch version, which is what you want. Like if you're stacking monitors, you want that bottom one to be as close to the table as possible. His monitor stand is from North Bayou, it's the H100. His keyboard is the Keychron K2V2. We see a Keychron in pretty much every single laptop setup for good reason, it is a solid keyboard. His mouse of choice is the Fantech XD3. His headset he's using is the Cooler Master MH650, and his headset stand is the Rexus Bungie J3. Now he does have a very colorful mouse pad. It's the Press Play Shibuya. Never heard of it before, but it does add more to the chaos that's going on. His monitor bar is the Mija light bar, Edifier speakers. He has an NYK laptop stand for his ASUS ROG. His lamp is the Crispo, and his desk is an electric desk from Udesk. Overall, great setup. I just feel like it's a bit too much stuff going on in one space. I'd love to see some of the knickknacks removed from behind it. Maybe a more neutral mouse pad to tone down all the crazy colors going on but the overall placement of everything is actually really good. Setup number two comes from Justin. He is from India and he's currently working in Sydney, Australia. He is a software engineer. Now look, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not the best looking setup, but there was something about it that really stuck out to me. And I think it's the simplicity of things. Not everyone needs a crazy desk setup going on. He does have it placed right by some natural light coming in from the windows and the door. I mean, he is in Australia. It's very beautiful over there. His laptop of choice is really good. Like he is rocking the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. This is the perfect laptop for a laptop setup. It's tiny, it's portable, but it's also very powerful. You can easily bring this back and forth between school or work without really it weighing you down. The battery life is also really good because of that AMD processor. The monitor of choice is the 27 inch Acer b 6 h UL rolls right off the tongue. I'm naming my next kid that. You heard it here first. And this is a regular IPS display. His monitor light bar is the Quintus Monitor Light Bar Pro Plus. And his keyboard of choice is the ASUS ROG Falcon. Mouse is a Logitech MX Master 3S. Again, just like the Keychron, we see this Logitech MX Master in every single video. Now the speakers are the Creative Pebble V3. They're nothing special. There's, they're pretty much for sound. Now look, I didn't talk about the desk, but it does look like a stand-up desk. His mouse pad is gray. It spans the entire desk, which gives him enough space to move his mouse around. Honestly, it's not a bad setup. I just think he can move a few things around. Like for one, the speakers don't need to be directly under the monitor. Spread them out on the desk. You have so much empty space. 
on the left-hand side. It's absolutely ridiculous. I do like the fact that he has a little tray underneath to help organize the cables. I'm not seeing a lot of those. And he does have a stand for his headphones underneath as well. The only other suggestion is to get a proper laptop stand. So this way you can have proper height of the second display to match your monitor. Setup number three is the epitome of minimalism. Like it, you know, you could go more minimalistic than this, but like there's nothing crazy going on here, but yet the aesthetic is so pleasing for a lot of people. Now this comes from a person named Phi Creative. I don't think that's his actual name, but he is from Indonesia. And look, he went with no monitor. He went with no big speakers. It's just him his laptop, a couple accessories to make things more comfortable when he's sitting down, and a pairing of plants, a white wall, and gray aesthetics to create a calming but productive workspace. And I like it, you know? He has the MacBook Pro 14 inch with M1 high enough that he's able to have proper ergonomics for his eyes. Like he doesn't have to look down. He doesn't have to look up. His neck is going to thank him. He's obviously using some sort of arm to hold the laptop up. He has his phone on the left hand side, which is obviously on some sort of wireless charger. And then he's using a bunch of Logitech products. Like he has a Logitech mouse. He has a Logitech keyboard. And you know, the typical stuff that you see from most YouTuber videos are on his desk. I also love the fact that he's using a massive cloth mouse pad to span the entire area, which gives him enough room to move his mouse around, but also keep things organized. Setup number four comes from Nikolai. He's from Denmark. He works with kids ages 14 to 17 who have ADHD. Now he's mostly an iPad person, which means his iPad with M2 12.9 inch is mostly in front of him. He loves touching the display. He uses it for some photo and video and also drawing. He does love to play Xbox as well, which he has on his windowsill directly behind the LG monitor. He does have a MacBook too. This is a MacBook Air with M1 that he says he sometimes uses, but not very often. But he does have a big, massive Grove made desk mat in gray, which adds a little bit of a two-tone finish to the entire desk. Now the desk is interesting because it fits perfectly in this nook. Like I love seeing setups that are super tiny, but also look great. And he had to make this desk himself in order to get the exact size. His chair is from Ikea. His cables are hidden behind the monitor, but I also see a bunch sticking out on the windowsill and his headphones are from a Danish company called Sound Living. He does have a bunch of Apple keyboards. He has an Apple trackpad. I see a cleaning cloth and he does have a bunch of Philips Hue lights around the room. Now, my only complaint about this setup is the fact that he has his Xbox Series S and his MacBook on the windowsill. I can see a lot of cables. It also blocks the window. My suggestion is to get a rack, two of them, one underneath your desk on the left, the other one on the right, place your Xbox on one, your MacBook on the other. It will keep it off the windowsill and everything will just look significantly cleaner. Plus, I do love the fact that he has a Nintendo, an original Nintendo on a shelf on the side of his room with a little picturesque TV and Super Mario playing. And the final setup comes from Virgil. He's originally from Romania, but is now living in Spain with his family. He does some video creation for one of the companies he works at, but I respect this setup a lot. For one main reason, the majority of this, he created himself. He doesn't have a lot of space. He's pretty much working inside of a little wardrobe. It's super tiny, but for what he did, I think it actually looks really, really cool. His laptop of choice is the Omen 15 from 2020. This is rocking an RTX 2060. And he does have a couple of BenQ 24 inch monitors with 165 hertz display. His keyboard is the Razer Huntsman TE TKL, customized by himself. He says he gave it a good loop, pervert. And then he has a Razer Viper Ultimate with the charging station, one of my favorite mice that I personally use on a daily basis. He does have the Delta Hub Carpio, which is his wrist rest. This is very good to avoid some of that carpal tunnel syndrome. And then he does have a pair of Razer Base Station V2 headphones. He also has better headphones for specific music listening, the Sennheiser HD 599s. And then he has an amp that he uses to attach them so that it can obviously drive them. So that wraps up this week's best laptop setups. I'll place links below to the Asus Chromebook Plus if you're interested in checking that out. Also, there will be instructions if you want to submit your laptop setup to potentially be shown in the next laptop setup video. Anyways, that wraps it up. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.